In this video, we're going to go over a leak code problem, which is convert binary number in a linked list to integer. So you have a binary number and you want to make it into an integer, um, a decimal number, uh, base 10. So binary is base two. That's something you need to know for this problem. Um, it's not a terribly uh, job specific thing. So hopefully if, you're, if you get this on an interview and you don't know what binary is, the interviewer to explain it to you. But um, this is our example 101. So um, just a number like 101, which is a binary number. And this would convert to five. And it converts to five because we have, uh, this is our ones place, so one times one. And this is our twos place, so zero times two. And this is our fours place, so one times four. So one times four is four, plus one times one is five. So that's our first test case. We have a couple of other test cases. Um, the naive and, and um, you know, a simple way to do this, uh, but not the fastest way would be to um, traverse through this linked list and maybe add these to a stack or something. And then as we pop them off the stack, we can, um, we'll know like what place they need to be. So one's place, two's place, four's place. Um, and then we can multiply each one by that number. Um, maybe we could have a map or something or some kind of um, key value pair to do that. But there's a way that we can do this in one pass. Um, and if you think about, let's say we have just this number 101. So we're gonna have a fourth place, a twos place, and a ones place. And let's say we actually have, um, let's do a different test case for this. There's a couple. Let's say we're just going to do 1101 just to make it a little more helpful. So we have our fours place, twos place, ones place. In this case, we also have an eights place at the start. So um, another way to look at this is that we have our, our one is going to be two to the zero. And then we're going to push that out. Our two is going to be two to the one. Our four is going to be two to the two. Get the space here, and our eight is going to be two to the three. Okay, so this is going to help us as we walk through this problem. And this will, as we kind of look at this, we're going to figure out how we can do this in one pass so we don't need to do that mapping that I mentioned earlier. So here, when you look at this, you can really see there's like, okay, this three, two, one, zero. So it looks a little more linear. Um, and so as we add each number, we're really going to be adding one extra thing here. And what that turns out to be is we're just going to be multiplying by two one more time. So how can we loop through these, uh, loop through this linked list and multiply by two one more time for each thing? So let's look at how we can do that. First, we're, um, so we get the head here, which is the head node, which has value and a next. Next points to another node in the linked list. So let's go ahead and store, um, we want current node. And that's gonna be initialized as head. And then we also want our total here. And we can just initialize that to zero. And then we're gonna be looping through this stuff. And so we wanna say while there's current node, we're gonna do something. And in our constraints, we do know that there is, um, there's always gonna be a head at least, so we're not gonna ever have a, an empty linked list. And then at the end, we wanna return our total. Okay, so within here, we wanna adjust our total amount. So our total is going to equal, um, remember I mentioned as we're traversing through, we're gonna multiply by two um, for each different place. So each time our total is gonna to equal total times two. And that means the, the first place is gonna get multiplied by two, one more than the second place, and, and so on and so forth. So this is gonna take care of that for us. And then we also, because this last number, we don't wanna multiply it by two, this is just our ones place. So our last number is gonna be, we also just wanna add um, our current node dot val, which is the current value that we have. So we could condense this into one line, but let's just leave it like that for now, just so it's a little more clear. So we're gonna multiply our whole thing by two, 
and then we're going to add the current val. So let's get rid of this, do, 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 and add that here, okay? And then of course we're going to reassign current node equals current node dot val, excuse me, current node not next. And then we're just gonna go through the while loop. And um, once we get to the end here, the current node dot next is gonna be null. So it's gonna set it to null, and then current node is gonna be null, which is a faulty statement. So it's gonna continue through uh, execution, pass the loop, and return the total. So um, this should do the trick for us. We could run through test cases manually, which is what you should do if you're in an actual interview. You should like talk through how it would play out. Um, but for now, let's just run this first test case, see how this runs, and it's accepted. And our second test case will also be accepted. We'll see. Okay, it works. And then we can go through the rest of these. But this is um, the fastest solution for converting, converting a binary number in a linked list to an integer. And uh, it only takes one pass. And it's big O of n time. So um, this is how it's done. Hopefully this helps you out. And we will see you in the next video.